Hi, this is Phil Thomas of Crown Heights of Hill. And whenever I get a chance, I listen to DJ Gloss on Sound Fusion Radio. Hello. Hello there. Is that Phil Thomas? Yes, it is. Hi, it's DJ Gloss here from Sound Fusion Radio. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Very well indeed. Very well indeed. Have we caught you at a good time? Uh, yeah, this is a fine time. <laughs> Excellent. Good, good. Because this is the time we, we were hoping to give you a call. That's wonderful. So, uh, just uh, wanted to... Um, Start off by saying I uh, saw you at the Coronet a couple of weeks ago, um, Crown Heights Affair there, uh, playing at the Coronet. Absolutely fantastic evening. Thank you for that. How did that feel after 18 years of not being in the UK? Well, thank you, and it was great. We enjoyed ourselves immensely. We, we've we been experimenting with uh, um, coming back and doing some things that we hadn't uh in quite a while so it was the experiment was our bodies <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to trying to figure out if we could actually get this done again um and it it, it turned out to be uh uh an a uh, a successful experiment experience um actually i think we we cheated we had so many friends and fans there that they pretty much carried us through it. Uh, Phil, you were fantastic. I watched the entire set. It was absolutely brilliant. Loved every minute of it, you know, and uh, all the electric was there. It was wonderful. Yeah, well, thank you. We, we, uh, we, we're still um, kind of high from that experience. We uh, we've been engaging in, in little steps back into the water, and uh, it started in January, and every month we do at least one or two gigs. We're kind kind of tentative uh, in terms of our engagement, but uh, we're we're trying to re-engage. <laughs> well, I, I think you're re-engaging fantastically, Phil. And, and is it okay if I call you Phil, by the way? Oh, that's fine. Okay, sure. Good. Excellent. Good. I, I like to check. You know, I don't I don't like to just assume. So there we go. Well, uh, yeah, well. it was um, it was a, a great gig, and um, you know, after 18 years, um, you know, to to come back and. Uh, and suck it to the crowd quite like you did, I thought was fantastic. And I know myself and uh, two others from the radio station were with me, and um, and we all thoroughly enjoyed your set. It was it was awesome. We, we've got pictures on our Facebook of you guys and, and on our website. So, um, yeah, very, very excited about the feature, Phil, because we, we're going to be featuring you for a whole week here on the Sound Fusion Radio Breakfast Show. So, uh, yeah, very excited about oh. that. That is brilliant. Well, we're we're trying to to um, get back to um, the UK as soon as we can. We don't want to um, to allow people a chance to forget who we are again. <laughs> so, well, I think amongst we'll be... yeah amongst the soul scene, there's very little chance of us forgetting you at all, let alone again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I certainly appreciate that, but we're like I said, we're we're trying to get that uh, done. We're actually working on some um, engagements now for um, the end of the summer, perhaps uh, beginning of autumn. Sounds absolutely brilliant. Well, certainly uh, keep us posted because I know that uh, people from the station will want to come and we'll, we'll, we'll pop across and see you wherever you are. The UK is not that big, so wherever you are in the UK, we can get to you. <laughs> well, that's great. We'll, we'll look forward to seeing you. Fantastic, fantastic. Can I ask you some questions going back in time? Is that okay with you? No problem. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, on a personal level, sort of outside of um, Crown Heights Affair, um, how did it start with you and music? What What was the thing? Well, uh, I think it's typical, uh, at least for an R&B singer in the States, usually we start in the church. Yes, yeah. My, 
my dad and grandparents and and I guess um quite a few people in my family were ministers and uh going back I'd say four generations um we spent a lot of time in church. Uh at one point I thought that the church was my second home. And so it, yeah. so we we sort of um did what we did in church. Uh I was pretty heavily influenced by uh church music and then um <clears throat> we had a a pretty um eclectic choice uh or or a group of choices to make uh on any given day because my parents were were musicians as well yeah. and uh they they loved all all different kinds of music then when i when I got into uh, primary school and grammar school, I got formal training, uh, and um, the rest, I guess, I got experience. I never really thought when I was younger that I'd be in the music business per se, mm -hmm. uh, but it did happen, and I was amazed. <laughs> well, there you go. So, um, do, do you remember oh. what your first public performance was, Phil? Do you remember what it was, and, and, and uh, so on? Well, my I don't know if my memory is that good. <laughs> um, going back, uh, I I probably performed, as I said, in in some sort of uh religious pageant or something like that oh, uh like very that. early on very probably nice. at 6 years old or something uh wow. they usually they usually would get get the children together and have um holiday related pageants and uh if i remember correctly <laughs> I got to be the star of one of those little performances, and uh, man, I fell in love with the audience reaction. So <laughs> after that, I was so... <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic, Bill. Love it, love it. The, the tender age of six, that's, that's absolutely awesome. I'm loving that. That's great. So who who were your childhood musical idols? Who did you look up to? Well, uh, at... At the time, I I think the the uh, most influential singer for me was probably Sam Cooke. Yeah, wow. Um, he he he's probably still one of my uh, musical heroes. Um, Definitely. And and then uh, of course I I was very interested uh, I learned early on about harmony and so I wanted to learn how to structure uh, chord progressions and and follow uh, melodic progressions and all of that sort of thing and I got involved in it well I think by the time I was nine years old I was actually admitted to the um, the senior choir. I I auditioned and they they actually let me in. Surprise, surprise. At the age of nine. And, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I was amazed. I think maybe because my father was a minister, they just they just were indulging me a little bit. But wow. I, I once I got there, I um, took full advantage of everything. I I tried to learn everything that I could about. Um, the music, and we did do a lot of a cappella music. So, I guess the old rock and roll singers uh, had a pretty good influence on me. People like the Flamingos and um, uh, the Orioles, yeah, and people like that. people you wouldn't 
you wouldn't remember because you're much too young. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do know quite quite well the music going back because I've been a DJ since I was very very young. So uh, you know, having to play at various events that required you know sort of older music, I do have a good sort of collection, so to speak, of of music going way back. And you know, certainly Sam Cooke, definitely no decent DJ could possibly be without Sam Cooke in his collection you know especially uh, yeah. playing to the sort of audiences that I play to as well in the more sort of yeah. soul arena so soul and funk and so on so Sam Cooke's a must especially for, for your slowies and your ballads so that's got to happen <laughs> absolutely well later on later on uh, I uh, the whole uh, genre was was uh, of uh, R&B kind of soul music was really interesting to me, but I had uh, a dilemma. I was really interested in uh, classical music, yeah, and so yeah. I yeah. pursued I pursued that as if it was uh, a passion of mine, and I guess uh, I guess it was. Um, and so I, uh, by the time I was in my teens. Um, I actually was invited to uh, be a part of a uh, a couple of classical groups um, similar to well, I don't know if you would even know who they are the the Swingle Singers mm-hmm. uh, and we did we did uh, a lot of madrigal music and. Um, uh, a lot of acapella stuff. I, I really enjoyed that, and I enjoyed the interplay um, that um, ten voices could bring together. And so I, I started learning about that. And then, you know, we got we got involved with, uh, of course, uh, bands. Uh, as I as I got older, that was part of all. Yeah. That was part of. I don't know if it was part of my training. It was just part of. Uh, it was an outgrowth of what I was doing. Yeah, sort of like and, a natural progression, uh, I guess, um, to to move towards the band side of things. It's sort of a natural progression in that in that time, was it? Or. Uh... Yeah, absolutely, and 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 I even the way if you listen to our music now, you'll notice that. The way that we arranged uh, the music was I I always tried to to allow the vocals to have um, a really close intercourse with the um, with with the horns. Yeah. And so um, if if the horns sparkled, I always thought the voices should sparkle, and uh, I. I, I guess that's that's kind of how we did it. We always wanted to be careful not to step on each other, but always to compliment each other. Well, it and, certainly works. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. Certainly works. And so, in voicing and in in phrasing, that's how we did it. Man, this is becoming too technical. Go ahead. Let's no, that's to great. Else. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And it was great, and it did. Uh, we did get right underneath things, and and for every minute that you've heard there of interview, there's another three minutes of interview which I can't bring to you today because of time. But we are going to do a Crown Heights affair special because we got to talking about all kinds of things about how the band developed, about how they became. Crown Heights Affair as we know them today, what they were called originally and uh, Phil and I chat for well over an hour I couldn't believe it that the, the man had so much time for us and, and we discussed things at a very very sort of friendly level and, and uh, you'll hear later on the comment that he makes on that and uh, we're going to have a little bit of music now, this is Foxy Lady by Crown Heights Affair, we're going to play this right now and then we're going to finish the interview off uh, on after that one, uh, before we go into the slice of reggae. But uh, please look out for the Crown Heights Affair special because it was an extremely special interview for me. I thoroughly enjoyed chatting with Phil. It was it was just wonderful to talk. Um, so many artists' you know, interviews that you listen to, nobody really stays there long enough to get underneath what's going on. So uh, I can't wait to bring to you the special, the Crown Heights Affair.
Foxy Lady from Crown Heights Affair. We're just about to do the closing stages of the interview with them for today. But to bring to your attention that because it was such a wonderful interview and so long, we're going to do a Crown Heights Affair feature show, which will be about three hours long. The interview itself with Phil Thomas Crown Heights Affair was well over an hour. He just gave us so much of his time and there's so much history that came out from him. Absolutely awesome. I couldn't thank him enough. So keep your eyes out for the Crown Heights Affair special which will give the full interview that I did with Phil Thomas. Here we go with the closing stages. Can I ask you, Phil, would would you do me a drop that I can... um, around your feature I mean we can do it now I'm recording obviously so <laughs> oh great uh, I'm I'm good at making stuff up in the middle of the day uh, all right let's 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 try it once hi this is Phil Thomas of Crown Heights Affair and whenever I'm in London I always listen to DJ Gloss on Sound Fusion Radio that's absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. You're brilliant. That's great. Okay. That's, well, thank you. Thank now you. I don't have to be I don't have to be in London to listen to Sound Fusion Radio, do I? No, you can listen to Sound Fusion Radio anywhere in the world. We have listeners everywhere. Anywhere in the world. Okay. Well, let me try one more. Okay, go on. Hi, this is Phil Thomas of Crown Heights Affair, and whenever I get a chance. I listen to DJ Gloss on Sound Fusion Radio. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for that, Phil. It's um, been 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 a wonderful conversation um, and, and talking to you. Uh, and, and I thank you so much for getting underneath so many things that that we wouldn't know about Crown Heights Affair without talking to you directly. And, and is there anything that you'd like to say to to your fans across the world and in the UK? Uh, right now, please feel free to uh, to to say that. Well, uh, I would like to say, uh, as the little girl said in the movie, "We're back," and God willing, we'll see you soon. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, and uh, we're we're hoping to see you soon uh, as well, Phil. So uh, thank you very much indeed. And if you're if you're coming over to the UK and uh, you know you, you want to touch base with us, we'll, we'll be more than happy to uh, to interview prior to a gig and, and and give it a promotion and uh, and all that kind of thing. That'd be lovely. You know, keep us in the loop because we love to be involved. Absolutely. Well, we certainly appreciate it. Please uh, keep keep my uh, email address and. Anytime you want, you can contact me. That's my personal email address. Uh, or you can, uh, anybody can follow us on Facebook right now uh, and 
soon our, our website will be up and running and you can you can catch our our schedule uh or our whatever loose itinerary we have until the tour starts Wonderful. And you'll be on our website probably as from tomorrow as our up-and-coming featured artist on The Breakfast Show. So we're seriously looking forward to that. And we're going to be spinning some of your awesome tunes every single day. But because we've got such wonderful footage, um, Phil, would you mind if I did a Crown Heights Affair special show, which would probably be two to three hours, including your music, this interview, um, and, and as much of... Crown Heights Affair as we can put into that show. Would you be happy for us to do that? Well, that would only be brilliant, so go right ahead and do it. We'll be, we would be happy to know about that. Uh, please let uh, let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll get the, the fellas and as many of our fans over here as I can reach to um, uh, listen to the Sound Fusion Radio and uh, catch it when we can. That'll be brilliant. That'll be great. So uh, we'll make sure we do that. What I might do, Phil, is email you and ask you um, for perhaps your favourite own works, and um, and then I can sort of say you know that these are your choice as part of that show, which I think would be a, another sort of awesome angle to come from as well. So seriously, looking forward to doing that. Oh, absolutely. Well, my I I think. You, you're talking about our, uh, one of our songs? Yeah, your, your own songs, your, your favorite own songs. I, I, I might oh. just drop you an email and ask you what, what you say your top five are of your own personal favorites of your own works, you know, and that, that would be great. I'll, well, I'll, I'll pull the band and we'll, we'll come to, <laughs> we'll fight about it and then we'll come to a decision. Yeah, well, I don't want any bruises or broken bits. You know, it's not it's not that serious. But <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just teasing. Um, <laughs> no, we'll I'll, I'll pull the band though because they have they have good ideas too. But there is a pretty good chance that uh, um, the two that you mentioned, Galaxy and uh, 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 You Gave Me Love, will be among them. Yeah, I'm pretty and, sure. Yeah, wonderful. That's great. Yeah. Well, um, I'm conscious that we've kept you on the phone for over an hour now, and, and I've loved every minute of it, and I'm so pleased that we've we've had today's interview. Uh, it's been wonderful, Phil, absolutely wonderful talking to you, and um, unless there's anything more that you have to say, I won't take up any more of your time, but I will wish you an absolutely blessed day and um, hope to speak to you soon and hope to see you soon in concert here in the UK. Well, same to you, and it has been, really, it has been my pleasure to do this. Um, I don't consider it an interview. I consider it a conversation with a friend. Absolutely. It does feel like that, too, and that, that's wonderful. That, that, that just adds a, a, an edge that just makes it just that little bit more special, and thank you so much for your time, Phil. It's been a pleasure talking to you this afternoon, or this morning, as it is where you are. Well, thank you. Uh, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Yeah, you take care. Uh, say hi to the rest of the band for us here at Sound Fusion Radio, and uh, we'll chat soon. Take care of yourself. Thank you now. God bless. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye. Now, that was a wonderful interview, and uh, as stated there, it did go on for well over an hour, and we got into all sorts of conversations about different angles about Crown Heights Affair. And as mentioned there, we're going to do a special to bring that to you because uh, it was just uh, it was just one of those interviews that you just you know it, you just didn't know it was going to happen, and it, it just. The conversation just rolled on uh, into all of these different subjects. So watch out for the special, and uh, we will make sure we bring that to you. It'll be three hours of interview and music with the legends, Crown Heights Affair. Hi, this is Phil Thomas of Crown Heights Affair. We're back, and God willing, we'll see you soon on Sound Fusion Radio. Close This is Sound Fusion Radio with DJ Gloss.